It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Well, today I want to address TikTok being banned in government offices and Lexmark not being banned in government offices. And I heard a rumor that TikTok and Lexmark are getting together to figure out how to get TikTok in those government offices. And what they came up with is mind-boggling. I'll share that in a second. But first, if you look on the Sharp Interactive Board, you'll see the two gentlemen that I believe head up what I call the Dictator Technology Association. There is a third person that's in that group, and that's the dictator in North Korea. He couldn't make this particular meeting because he's, you know, beefing up his nuclear arms. But these two fellows are there. They're having a toast, and above them, I'm asking the question, did they share chips after the toast? Because there's a rumor out there that she brought a bag full of chips that came out of Lexmark printers because they're so overwhelmed in China going through all these chips. He wanted to bring some over to his friend in Russia and have the Russian people kind of dig through these chips as well. Kind of save some time as they mine all the information from the government offices here in the United States. As a matter of fact, all over the free world. Now, a lot of you are saying, oh, Ray, these machines have security. And we all heard these arguments, right? Security, security, everything's secure. Don't worry about who owns the company. We need to worry about who owns the company. I'm not necessarily given a crap where things are made. There's a lot of stuff made in China, but you can make something in China, but that doesn't mean the company's owned by the Communist Chinese Party. In the case of Lexmark and Lenovo, those are Communist China Party-owned companies. And those companies serve at the mercy of the leader of the company, who happens to be the leader of the Chinese Communist Party. And we need to think about this, and we need to start putting this in the context of this messaging. Because we can convince ourselves that all this technology is completely secure. But at the end of the day, what's not secure that's being sent over to China? And I want to share an example. What happens to all the trade-in machines that come out of the government offices when Lexmark goes in there and puts all the Lexmark machines to replace what was there? Does Lexmark pick all those machines up, put them on a boat, and send them to China? Now, they might say, oh, Ray, that's crazy, we don't do that. But do we all know for a fact they don't do that? Do we know for a fact that they don't go see if there's any hard drives left in any of those machines? Now, you're going to say, oh, no, the government, they take all the hard drives out. They make sure no, no one's doing that anymore. Are they not? Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes the miners of the data are so far more imaginative than those that are giving them the information. What happens when Lexmark or Lenovo bids on a government contract. Don't they get bid specs? Don't they get a lot of information about the entity in these bid specs? Email addresses, titles of people, names of people. Don't you think that's kind of valuable information in the hands of a dictator? Now he knows who the city legislatures are, if you will. They're starting to put the puzzle pieces together, if you will. Because they're mining data and they're more imaginative than those that are giving them the data. So I think we need to start focusing on as an industry is who owns the companies. We can worry about where stuff's manufactured and we're working on that aggressively. But let's start focusing on the Chinese owned companies that are delivering their technology into the government offices throughout the free world. And now, what I want to do is I want to jump on there and show you what TikTok and Lexmark are rumored to be doing. So TikTok met with Lexmark. They're like, you know, well, this is crazy. We're getting banned from all the government offices, but you're allowed to bring in these MFPs with these LCD panels and plaster those through the government offices. What if we work something out? When I share with you what they're rumored to have worked out, you were going to say, wow, this is crazy. Here's that rumor, folks. They're embedding TikTok on the LCD panel of the Lexmark printers. I mean, TikTok's figured it out. Hey, Lexmark's allowed free will in all the government offices. Let's put the TikTok app on the Lexmark LCD panel, and then people could go on the TikTok while they're in the government office. Because we know they don't really use printers to print anymore, right? But now they can walk up to the device. And you know the, the print OEMs, whether they're Chinese-owned or Japanese-owned, they're trying to get people to get to those devices what better way to get people to walk up to the LCD panel than to put TikTok on it? And so I'm thinking, well, what would they be watching on TikTok on the Lexmark printer? Ladies and gentlemen, the very first video I saw was just amazing. Let me share this with you. It's an American, American cat that's mad at China, and he beats to death a printer. There's a video of this. It's amazing. Apparently, this is an American cat, a free cat, a cat that runs around and eats tuna fish. He loves his life. He found out 
the home, the humans that he lives with, had a Chinese printer. And he's been paying attention. He's been paying attention to the Dictator Technology Association, especially those three guys. And he's thinking to himself, this printer needs to get the hell out of this house. If these people want me to, you know, stay here, and, and, and they, they need to get rid of this printer. So he took it upon himself, and uh, let me just show you the video, because it's, it's a little bit disturbing. He just started beating the crap out of the printer. He's done. Get it out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I really don't know if TikTok's going to embed their app on the LCD panels of Lexmark printers. I'm not too sure how many cats are going to beat the hell out of the China-owned printer in the house. But I will tell you this. If the free world doesn't wake up to the threat from communist China-owned companies putting their technology in our government offices, I think we're all a little bit naive. And maybe it's time we ask a little bit more questions. Because everybody watching me knows this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all later.